Hi, this is Carrie Stewart with Results for Business. Don't you admire risk takers, especially when they win or give a thrilling performance? There's something exciting about someone who takes a chance, the person who has courage to start a business in a down economy, a football team that goes for the two-point conversion to win the game, or those fearless folks who put it all on the line to get what they want, and they get it. How about you? What was the last risk you took? What risk did you not take? Fear is one of the biggest culprits that hold us back from achieving our wildest, or not so wildest, dreams. If this is true for you, then you might want to understand fear better. You've probably heard the acronym. Fear is often described as false evidence appearing real. Well, think of it this way. In our minds, we've conjured up some evidence that we label as real. We might believe that this will, we're gonna fail, that we will be embarrassed, that we'll lose everything, that we'll be rejected, or worst of all, that we may feel ashamed. Well, Dale Carnegie warned that inaction breeds doubt and fear. It's the case then that action breeds confidence and courage. Take these steps to overcome fear and get to action. Get real about the potential outcomes. What's the best that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? And then come up with what's likely to happen. Take a small, safe step. Research your dream, gather more information, make a plan, then take your second step. But you have to see yourself as successful. Begin today by shining the light on the false evidence that appears real fear in your life. When you do, you will become more realistic about potential outcomes. Your confidence will get a boost and you will be more prepared to take a risk. Recently, I was in a team building in Texas and the event was held at iFly, a fantastic indoor skydiving experience. And I want to share with you, this is me, I did it, and I was a little bit fearful because I have a back that gets a little bit out of whack. My fear was busted when I texted my chiropractor and I said, I want to do this. And he said, go for it. If you whack it, I'll fix it. I flew. It was a highlight of my year. And I didn't even have anything he had to fix when I had my next appointment. False evidence appearing real. What are you really afraid of? Let me help you with that. Let's bust it. Thank you for watching. If you're on YouTube or iTunes, please subscribe. For more information, visit us at resultsforbusiness.net where you can see other great videos and access cutting edge coaching and training to help you and your business.